Hi. Um, obviously, I'm off trail again. Uh, it's because of my leg. This one, mainly. Had pain in that one also. A lot of times I had pain in both of them simultaneously. I started before Damascus. And a couple of days ago, I shot this video while I was on trail just to throw it up to Facebook for my family and friends so they could see what was going on and what, what was happening with me. Uh, this is hard. I'm getting off trail. Uh, this all started before Damascus. So that was at mile 450. I'm at mile 670. I haven't had, I haven't taken a pain-free step in over 200 miles. You can see the swelling here on the left in this area. Well, all over compared to the right. And the inflammation is going up. And it hurts. All I did was limp down the trail today. So I'm going home. Talk to a doctor and do what the doctor says because it's painfully obvious my way isn't working. So I'll get back to you later. When I shot that, I was <laughs> really down in the dumps because I'd finally made the decision to get off and, and get things looked at. And I thought it was, uh, you know, the end of the hike and, and I was pretty despondent. <laughs> but um, I started thinking about it and I did some arithmetic with a little spreadsheet on the phone here that I'm filming this with. And if I get back on by May 30th, I could summit Katahdin September 30th by averaging 13 miles a day. And that includes 10, 10, zero days, no mile zero days. So it's still very doable. Uh, I got off Wednesday, today Sunday, May 15th. Tomorrow, Monday at 8 a.m. I have an appointment with an orthopedic specialist to look at me, hope. Hopefully he'll do some imaging and just get a real good look at just what's going on down there because I thought once I stopped walking that the pain would go away. Well, here it is four days after I stopped walking and every step I take hurts. There's, I did something down there. <laughs> There's something going on down there. Oh well. Uh, but uh, when he's done with me, I'll have an idea what's going to happen. And, and either there's a fix for it or there's nothing to be done. And in that case, hopefully there's no risk of me doing any kind of permanent damage to hobble myself for the rest of my life, which I won't do because I got grandchildren I need to hang out with. Uh, and try and keep up with them. I, I'm not gonna risk that for a through hike, sorry. <laughs> it's not worth it. But if it's just something that is gonna hurt, if it's just an ache, <laughs> okay, I'll strap my stuff on and get back to it because I can hike with pain. I mean, I just, I just did 250 miles and I didn't take a single pain-free step the whole time, you know? This has been going on since before Damascus, for crying out loud. <laughs> anyway, um, that's where I am right now. It's 10.30 Sunday morning. I'll report back here tomorrow afternoon after I'm uh, done with the orthopedist. So, wish me luck. Well, I, I went to the doctor and uh, he assured me that all the, the problem down there was in the soft tissue. Uh, I don't have any kind of fractures or anything like that. And um, 
that it might fix itself. It might not. I'm kind of hoping that over time uh, everything will get acclimated to the to the abuse, and then it'll stop hurting. And um, he also said that there's no chance any kind of permanent doing any, anything permanent to myself. So it it just hurts. <laughs> Doesn't make it pleasant, but hey, okay, I can live with that. I already have for over 200 miles, and um, I'll get back on a trail sometime here next week. I got some Cuban fiber in the room there. I'm going to make my tarp a little bigger so that it, I get more coverage out of it and uh, stay off my foot. Right now, it's mostly my left. Well, it's all my left one, um, and I'll be getting back on next week. So. Next time I talk to you, it'll be from the trail. One change I am going to make is I'm planning on getting some kind of little point and shoot, one of those waterproof things, and and um, to shoot my video. And uh, then I'll just periodically uh, send the SD card to my son, and then he'll accumulate all the video and put it together in something, and he can upload it to YouTube. So maybe videos might be more often now so we'll see how that goes either way looks like it's back on see you later